This is Mike Callahan, Dr. Fallfinder, and welcome back to our special Butterscotch.com 10-part series on Google Earth. In this segment, we're going to look at different views. In the previous segment, we looked at controlling what you see in Google Earth by controlling layers. But you can also control other things by using the View menu up here in the toolbar. So we'll click View. You can turn off the toolbar if you want. You can also turn off this sidebar if you don't want to see it. You can have it go full screen and you can also change the view size. You can have it show navigation automatically, always, compass only, or never. You can have it display a status bar which is down here. And you'll see now it's showing us the longitude and latitude, latitude of where the mouse cursor is. and You can see it moving down there. We can have it use a grid to put a grid over the earth to help you to find things more easily. We can have an overview map which appears down here in the corner. You can see the red box. If I click outside of the box, double click, now the box moves over and the globe spins to take me to the spot that I clicked. You can also click view and you can get a scale legend which appears down here shows you that this fire is 185 kilometers. You can also use view to see the atmosphere, the sun, and it shows you that this part of the world is now dark so we're going to go back to the US and you can see we're, we're traveling across as the sun does. You can have it show historical imagery but we'll look at that later and you can also have it show the water surface and you can explore different aspects through the view menu earth sky Mars and the moon. So this is configuring another aspect of Google Earth to make it work the way you want. Keep in mind that this is part of a multiple part series and be sure to listen to all 10 parts.